What's up, beautiful people? Sherry here from No Fucks Given. So I'm doing an impromptu reading for the summer solstice. Um, so my birthday is in a couple of days. So the summer solstice um, is quite significant in my life. I can really feel the energies rising to a peak. So I believe it's tomorrow. Um, so the energy will continue to rise uh, for the next week. So this is going to be a reading for the collective consciousness, not for Twin Flames directly, but just to see how um, the planet is responding, what are the energies that are being brought into this um, completion and beginning. And, you know, it's a transition energy. It represents change. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull um, a couple of cards from a couple of different decks. I'm not entirely sure what kind of reading I'm going to do, like what, what spread, but I'm going to shuffle. So use this opportunity to think of a question, perhaps, for your own journey. Um, what answers do you need? What clarification do you need? So hopefully this will help you. Give you some clarity. Okay, and I think I'm also going to use, um, let's see. Yeah, I'll use the Call It Baron Reed and um, probably the Osho Zen as well. So, quite the assortment here. And then, of course, I'm going to pull two cards from Myths and Mermaids. So, I think what I'm going to do is I will pull four cards for the feminine, four for the masculine. Uh, so, it's going to be past, present, near future. Ooh, and future. Readings. Okay, this came in the reverse, so the whole deck is probably upside down, so I'm just going to flip it over, but the coming together card flew out. So this has to do with love, connection, commitment, coming together, okay? So the feminine and, and masculine energy, there's a merging. It, it seems to be a repeated theme in the private readings that I've been doing lately. Um, there... You know, when we're brought onto this planet, when we come into this 3D reality, our mind is split in two. We forget who we are. So we forget this spiritual um, knowing. So for the first half of your life, you are in this unconscious state and you're learning about your external environment. Um, and then the second half of your life, you are going within and you're learning about who you are and your connection. You're returning to source. So there is an energy or a feeling that that split mind is merging into one. So that card was, you know, significant in terms of what I'm seeing recently. Uh, so we're off to a good start is what I'm saying to you. All right, so um, I'll pull past, present, and future. Um, I'll pull the cards first, and then we'll go through the reading, the meaning of it, okay? So I think what I'll do is I'll pull past from the Call It Baron Reed. So for the feminine first, home, masculine, gentle gardener, Oh, I wanted to use the Osho as well. All right, so next. So we'll use these as a message from the universe. I'll read those to you at the end. Um, so next, I think present position, let's use the John Holland. Trapped in fear, eight of swords for the feminine, masculine, third eye chakra. Nice. Okay. And for... The new, near future for the feminine, divine masculine, very nice. And the masculine, 
So this is like bullheaded stubbornness. So it's almost like um, decision to move forward of some kind. All right, and so the final outcome, let's use the Osho. The miser, four of pentacles, and the masculine, courage, strength. Very reminiscent of this card. Okay, so I'm going to leave the message to, for the universe till last. Um, I got my cards here, so I'm going to go through each position, and if I need to, I'll use my cards as clarifiers. Okay, so let's begin the reading by reading these two cards. This is an introduction. This is the foundation, your past, um, what this reading is grounded on. Okay, so for the feminine, number 27, home. Okay, you are comfortable in your own skin. You belong. Peace, security, safety, belonging, and all the features one would want from home are indicated now. The home card represents an invitation to experience what it's like to be secure in your own skin, to live comfortably no matter what is happening in your world around you. It is time for opening your eyes to your tribe of like-minded people or one special person who makes you feel like you've come home. Home is love and love is all around you now. Whatever your inquiry, you are where you are meant to be and will reap great benefits from staying on the path regardless of where it leads. Home will always be with you. It is where the heart is. So the collective energy from the feminine aspect. What I'm feeling here is a heavily grounded energy, uh, an arrival, um, a knowing at the core of your being that you are always at home home is within you and um so there's this earthy um m like a mother earth kind of energy that is being expressed here so the feminine um is providing a safe home um this could also represent meeting your soulmate or your twin flame and so that person has represent represents that home energy, that love, that safety, that long-term commitment. But really what I feel is the feminine is becoming, um, you know, is coming into her femininity, her, her loving, um, gentle, you know, kind nature, nurturing. So I'm going to pull three cards. Divine Masculine, Twin Flame, again. Um, so the Hermit and the Devil card. So if you look at these three cards, there's a timeline. There's a past, present, and future. So it, this is this Divine Masculine or Empress, Emperor card um, is the Masculine coming into his authenticity in the 3D. There's a sense that um, there's a strong masculine energy that you've met. Um, so th I'm trying very hard not to turn this into a twin flame reading. I really, truly am. Um, so this could just represent that you are coming into your power, into your strength. You're embracing the masculine side, perhaps, of your energy, emerging of the two halves of your mind, the right, left, masculine, feminine. So, you know, and if it's not, then it means that there's been contact with your soulmate. Okay, now the hermit card represents a disconnect. It is a detachment from society, from the 3D world. It is having no attachments, no desires, no needs for anything. So. You don't, you know, feel pleasure anymore from the 3D world. And so there is um, 
a spiritual journey that is being represented here. So the journey um, is, you know, spiritual in that you're, you're finding your light within. You're finding, you know, you're going within in order to seek wisdom and, and knowledge that you've already gained. Uh, and you're living detached um, so that you can really see the world for what it truly is, okay? And what I'm feeling here is that you you make that realization. The devil is the ego. It is a 3D world, the attachments, the stories, the conditioning, the rules. You know, so it's like this wise soul is looking at society and how ugly it has become. And it's, you know, this major realization that came about because of a connection with your masculine, because you tasted what, <clears throat> sorry, what home really felt like. And, uh, you know, so this is grounding you, this is giving you strength. Um, and it's, but it's also um, making you see the material world for what it really is. Okay, so there's detachment and um, clearing out the old life, letting go of the chains that are binding you. Now, this card is coming in the present position. Okay, so this energy of the devil is being brought... Like, it's in the future position, so it's being brought into the present position. So, the Eight of Swords for the Feminine. This is a mental prison. This is feeling um, held back, locked out. It's an oppressive energy from the outside. So, some external force is making you feel like you are imprisoned. Now, to go back to the devil card. The devil card can be used as a crux. It's an excuse. It is a victim mentality. Okay, so it's a frame of mind. So it could be a codependent relationship or addiction, something holding you back, but really it is a belief system. So either you believe you're not good enough for this divine connection um, or you're still having a hard time letting go of your need to be uh, in, you know, a divine connection like this. Um, or you still haven't fully released um, this chain. And so, like I said, you could be hiding behind this devil energy, believing that you don't have the power to free yourself. But really you know on an ultimate level that you do, okay? But, you know, you're grounded with this hermit energy. The hermit is the, like, the detacher. He isn't chained to anything. So this, you know, the devil is coming in the future. It is something will, that will be dealt with or is being dealt with currently. Um, so it's realizing, you know, that you may still have some chains that are holding you back. So again, this is an energy coming from the outside, making you feel this way. However, you are believing it. You are choosing to believe that you are held back, chained, kept from what you truly desire. And what is it that you truly desire? The Divine Masculine. It's, you know, it comes in as the first card, distant past. You felt home. There was a disconnect. Um... And it's because of an attachment, whether it's in your immediate environment or your attachment to the masculine, one of the two, okay? And you feel locked out, held back from, from this connection, but it does manifest, but we will get to that, okay? So let's pull three clarifiers, nice. Um, so the King of Wands, the Five of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands, oh my God. Um, so the King of Wands is coming in the past position. So again, this is somebody who is unattached. Okay, these um, three cards actually are the cards that represent, well, actually, and the Five of Pentacles, represent being unchained 
from something in the material world. It is empowering cards. It is, these people are, are not controlled by the external world, not controlled by emotions, not controlled by needs. Okay, so this is a divine masculine um, who is, um, who knows his truth and can't be manipulated. All right? So the hermit is someone who is a very wise soul, been on a spiritual journey for a very long time, cannot be mani manipulated. Okay? And the ego devil card is manipulation. Um, so the king of wands could represent a fire sign, but really it rep represents the divine masculine or a masculine energy in your environment who is a leader, who is a role model for you. Okay, very strong masculine. So this is, um, you know, the leader of a revolution, the rebel. Um, wand is spirit energy, so there's a new beginning in your future. However, this person is inspiring you is making you aware of a different reality, of a different way of living. It's awakening your consciousness. Okay, so fire, passion, ignited, creativity, freedom, expression. Uh, this person would be the center of attention. Very charismatic. People listen to him or drawn to him. So it's coming in the past position. So you met this energy in the past and he inspired you. The Five of Pentacles represents releasing yourself from something in the 3D. It is making a decision to actually do it. Or perhaps, again, you feel locked out, left out in the cold. Um, this may require a financial loss of some kind, but ultimately you will gain your freedom if you release yourself completely from that devil. All right? So you may need to metaphorically shoot yourself in the foot to, to find that freedom. But he, you were inspired, again, by this masculine energy, which could be you. This, All of this, like I said earlier, all this masculine energy could be coming from the left side of your brain. Or, sorry, yeah, the left side of your brain. So that would be the logical, the, the um, you know, the forceful energy. Whereas the right side, feminine, is more of an introvert, more of a loving um, illogical type of energy so you may be coming into your power realizing your power if you aren't being inspired okay um, so the page of wands is coming in the future this is you breaking free breaking out of those limiting um, chains that are stopping you this is freedom so this is an idea an inspiration a creative thought, a realization of freedom. So this is starting a new life. It's realizing you don't have to work a nine to five job, that you can truly be free doing the things that you enjoy and getting reward as a result of it. So this is your sole purpose. Your, your calling, your higher purpose is calling to you. So this could mean a good message coming in from somebody met in the past that excites you you know, um, again, inspires you. So this is gasoline being poured on the fire. So it's a blaze of energy, again, coming from the past. Um, so it's a new life and planning for that new life. Very similar energy to the fool, where the fool is someone who is unattached. Um, that would have been a better card to see, but I'm still very happy with the page of wands because this means that you are inspired to um, go on a spiritual journey very specific spiritual because wand is, is spirit um, so you are embarking on this you know the and plus two fire is the sun <clears throat> summer solstice rising into power excitement you know, the summer. All right. So for your near future position, you got the divine masculine again, or the empress, emperor, sorry. But this is just masculine energy. That's all it means. Wow. There's the ace of wands. Damn. The knight of wands. Oh my God. Intemperance. 
Wow. So near future. The Ace of Wands. Carried by the Page of Wands. Begins that journey. So the Ace of Wands is also carried by the Fool, right? It's that spark, that inspiration, um, that excitement for newness. So this is the actual idea. The Ace of Wands is the idea. Um, and then this is planning for that future. So you will be embarking on this um, new life purpose, okay? You're taking that, that thought and you're bringing it into the future. Now, either the masculine energy and a masculine energy from your past returns with the Ace of Wands very quickly, very fiery, very goal-directed, um, and it excites you even further. Um, or there's a new offer, more inspiration, more drive, more... You know, I, this re represents the Kundalini awakening. So it's like that golden cord connecting your crown chakra to source. So it is um, activation. It's go time. The light is green. And how beautiful. There's the shot out of the gate. I love that these two cards show up together. They are, inter you know, um, what do you call it? They're, they're very connected to one another through their energy. And I absolutely love that this is actually coming in the future as well. So this is the sequence, the idea, go light, shot out of the, the gate towards your future, towards your destiny. You're taking those plans and you're putting them to work. So this is movement forward, very directed energy. There's no stopping it. It's an explosion of fire. Again, a lot of wand which is spirituality. So what I feel in the near future connected to this um, summer solstice is an explosion of energy and like epiphanies, um, creativity, empowerment. The sun is a masculine energy as well. So the um, king of the sun, our king of wands is the center of the sun. All right, so as a collective, the feminine will realize on a, a deep level that they are no longer slaves to, their, to the material world and will rediscover their freedom, um, possibly from somebody who is unattached and empowered, or they will step into their power, their masculine power, to actually create a new life for themselves and move forward with that. Okay, so the temperance card. Now, if this was a twin flame union, or twin flame reading, it, this would indicate a union. Um, now, if you recall at the beginning of the video, I was describing how there is a um, a continued repeated theme of the two of swords which is the split mind it's schizophrenia it's cognitive dissonance when you arrive on the, the planet your mind splits into two you forget who you are and so you know this twin flame journey um, or connection with your soulmate it awakens you it, it enlightens you and through love you begin to help each other make realizations and connections um, and also sources there throwing out synchronicities okay but ultimately there will be a reintegration of the mind or reintegration of the divine masculine and feminine either way it's integration okay so that's what this card re represents um, the, uh, the temperance card represents zero point she is the s in the yin and yang she is now she is balanced in all areas of your life, spiritually, physically, mentally, uh, emotionally. So it is a sh go time, a shot out of the gate towards this union, towards this integration. A uh, very, very strong, powerful, flamey energy here. Okay, and with the divine masculine again, sun, masculine, sun, empowerment. For the feminine. 
Okay, so for the final outcome, we got the miser. So I'm going to read that description to you from the Osho. Sorry. Okay. This woman has created a fortress around herself, and she is clinging to all the possessions she thinks are her treasures. In fact, she has accumulated so much stuff with which to adorn herself, including the feathers and furs of living creatures, that she has made herself ugly in the effort. This card challenges us to look at what we are clinging to and what we feel we possess that is so valuable it needs to be protected by a fortress. It needn't be a big bank balance or a box full of jewels. It could be something as simple as sharing our time with friends or taking the risk of expressing our love to another. Like a well that is sealed up and becomes stagnant from disuse, our treasures become tarnished and worthless if we refuse to share them. Whatever you're holding on to, remember that you can't take it with you. Loosen your grip and feel the freedom and expansive, uh, expansiveness sharing can bring. So then there it is again. That holding on, need, um, there's an attachment and then a disconnect, a freedom and a new beginning and uh, like massive epiphanies. Okay, so three cards, King of Cups. Wow, Ten of Pentacles, oh my God, nice. The uh, Knight of Cups. So the King of Cups could represent a water sign, but you know, again, masculine energy being represented here. So the King of Cups is a very loving, open, um, deeply caring person, okay, but they're balanced emotionally. They are, they give unconditional love and don't, res don't expect anything in return. Uh, so I have Kurt Cobain here, and this is someone who loved so deeply that it hurt them. That's why he was sad all the time. So this energy is in the past, okay, so, um, Again, I'm feeling a connection to the past with this divine masculine. So, you know, maybe you've met somebody that really opens your heart or um, you know, that you love very deeply and maybe they've been closed off to you or you've been closed off to them. Holding on to something, hiding behind something in the material world. But anyway, that love is with you always. Um, the Ten of Pentacles represents a completion. It's this long-term goal of, you know, manifesting this beautiful life for yourself and never not having to worry about money ever again. So it is living the life that you desire, free of attachments. You are you have abundance coming in. It's like a retirement energy. You have abundance coming in and you don't have to worry about money. So it's ultimate freedom. But you're also surrounded by love and family and connection. So you you don't place any importance on the 3D world anymore. Um, you just appreciate the, the love and the beauty that you're surrounded with by. So this is a long-term goal. It becomes manifested, all right? So again, this is summer solstice energy being tasted currently so you know this energy i believe that you know the summer solstice may be starting tomorrow some places say today but there will be a peak a climax a rise of this illumination fire passion epiphanies and love the king of water now my birthday is in a, a couple of days so I relate to this card very much because I'm a Cancer. So this is a king of water. So this would represent my energy, masculine um, energy, 
um, a controlled, um, sorry, an uncontrolled expression of love. So it's unconditional love. So it's, um, you know, it's an empowerment card. You know what I mean? It's it's higher than the queen. Uh, the queen is still somewhat affected by emotions, whereas the king is the achievement. You know, has achieved ultimate control over his emotions. And so this could be, you know, that water cancer um, energy being played here. But obviously, you know, that doesn't apply to everybody. So, you know, this could just be the feminine in general um, welcoming love or expressing love in a masculine way. I don't know. But it could also be, um, you know, somebody from your past coming back and offering you or giving you this abundance, this 3D reality, this 3D manifestation that you've been desiring. This is home, exactly the same kind of energy, home. Home is love. Home is security, safety, unconditional love, you know, abundance, grounding. There is a return, a cycle of completion. Okay, your future position, the Knight of Cups, movement forward. So not only does this love come in your life, not only does this stability come in, in your life, but it feels like it's never ending. It opens you up. It's, you know, the, the walls come down, the bars break free, and <clears throat> you shoot out of the gate, uh, out of that darkness, free. Um... Un, it's, you cannot control this energy. It is gone. It's fire. Don't even try. So you open up. You make realization. And from that, this abundance and unconditional love flows into your life and continues to flow for infinity. Okay, so that concludes the feminine side. <coughs> Sorry. When I talk a lot, my voice gets really um, crackly, so let me just grab a drink here. It's really hot here right now too as well, so the air is quite dry. All right, <clears throat> and yes, I do smoke, but that has nothing to do with the readings, you know. Um, they're very synchronistic crack-ups when they come. Okay, anyway, conclusion of the feminine side. I will read the message from the universe after I do the masculine side. I, I know it's a nasty habit, but hey, queen of no fucks given, okay? I don't judge you. You don't judge me. Um, let everybody be who they are without judgment, free. The king of no fucks given. The king of love. Give your love to all, okay? Don't be held back. Don't judge. Don't be trapped by conditions, thoughts, expectations. Free yourself. Okay, so masculine side. Gentle gardener, let's read that. Number two. Okay, be your own person. Be a conscious co-creator. The gentle gardener is visiting you at this moment in your life to remind you that your thoughts, feelings, and beliefs create the reality you experience. She is the embodiment of the energy within you that is sent out into the field of co-creation and ensures that all that you are is reflected in the world of form. Are you aware of your thoughts? What are their quality? <clears throat> Believe in limitless possibility and you will see miracles unfold. The gentle gardener guarantees the integrity of everything you send out into the world. Stay positive and expect wondrous return. Your garden is abundant with beauty. So the masculine is also in this, you know, comfortable, homey state, realizing that he has a lot of power. So what I'm feeling from this is kind of like magician energy, realizing that your thoughts are very powerful. 
okay you are sending out vibrational energy into the field so if you send out negative energy that um, energy be re will be returned to you in a negative way and vice versa with positive it's a law of attraction okay so um, this is realizing that your thoughts have power you know to manifest your reality um, so you know this is the crown chakra activation here and empowerment okay and it also shows me that you've been sending out seeds of intention you desire to manifest something into your life five of wands awe ace of cups and the hangman so five of wands past position this represents obstacles and challenges so you've overcome many obstacles okay uh, but this card isn't a negative card it just means that you've been challenged you're like whatevs you know somebody disagreed with your opinion and you're like I'm not even having it like I know who I am I will express myself the way that um, you know I'm kind of rolling forward with this bullheaded energy it's like it's a, there's a lot of strength that I'm feeling with this again one energy is is courage strength to speak your mind to overcome these minor obstacles so it's in the past okay so this is done so it's empowering energy um, at the heart of the matter we have the ace of cups so this is the seeds that he's throwing out into the universe is love unconditional love so this card only shows up when you've done your work where you've let go of the past where you've forgiven others, where you've, you know, um, healed your, yourself, you've forgiven yourself as well, you've healed yourself, and you're truly open to receive love into your life, and Spirit is saying that, that love is coming towards you. You're sending out that love, and it will be returned. <clears throat> okay, so again, here's that surrender energy with the magician, or sorry, the, the, the hangman, my bad. The hangman represents sacrifice, self-sacrifice, letting go of control, uh, changing your perspective, um, surrendering to the process, allowing what is to be and what will be to come. You know what I mean? It's like uh, it's um, going with the flow, such beautiful energy. So you're receiving unconditional love, very much like this King of Cups. Um, and so, yeah, I see that the masculine, the consciousness of the masculine, um, is going through a change in perspective, realizing how, how strong and powerful you are, that you have the ability to manifest your reality and what you desire is love to come into your life. And the gentle gardener, which is the main card, is telling you that that love, those seeds, are coming towards you. That you're creating a beautiful environment by surrendering and opening, allowing. So, the masculine side is a little bit sweeter. Whereas the feminine here is, you know, a little bit on the dark side. But again, there you know, you come into your your light. The sun illuminates all, empowers you. So your present position, you got the third eye chakra. So the third eye chakra, you know, this is a surrender energy, but it's going in. So there's a sense that there this turning in energy, this realizing that you can uh, activate and manipulate and transmute the energy around you, that field. Um, and it is through the third eye chakra that, you're ha that you have that ability to do that. So the present position of the masculine, they are tapping into the third eye. Activation on um, a subconscious level. Okay, so the, the super conscious is a collective, it's source, it's all, the collective, you know, of everyone. And, you know, so that's where you download creative ideas, where you tap into the Akashic Records, where you talk to loved ones, 
Um, and where you reach out to, you know, your twin flame or someone, um, your soulmate. Um, now the third eye is the subconscious. So that's the superconscious. Below that is the subconscious mind. That's the higher self. That is the realm of the high priestess. So the uh, high, higher self is where wisdom, knowledge, um, past experiences, lessons learned, um, and your inner voice resides. So your inner knowing, your intuition, your psychic ability. So I really feel that the masculine is stepping into this like psychic ability, this intuitive knowing, this um, connection, crown chakra uh, connection to source, this empowerment. Um, in a similar way to the feminine, um, where the feminine is more extroverted, um, affecting her surroundings, you know, through spirituality in the material plane, whereas the masculine is more of an internal, you know, um, an internal transformation. Yours is an external, exerting, introvert, feminine almost. Yeah. Okay. Three cards. Eight of Swords again. Mirroring. Same card. Three of Pentacles. And the Three of Cups. Okay, so the past energy is, you know, feeling imprisoned, feeling locked out. So it's a shared energy between the masculine and feminine. You both felt separated. So that goes along with the split mind, okay? Being held back, believing negative thoughts, schizophrenia. You know, at, at the core of you, you know your own values and beliefs. You know your core values. You know who you are. It's whether or not you, do, you choose to believe that bullshit is up to you. So you were enlightened in the past. You freed yourself from that mental prison. You found illumination. You found your higher voice, your higher self. And that empowerment is showing up in the twin or on the feminine side twice. Well, the whole reading really is about masculine empowerment, but really um, what I'm seeing on your side is more of a feminine connection. Okay, so you're using your intuition, you're going within, you're tapping into the subconscious mind, and you're allowing your subconscious to guide you. So you are taking on a feminine quality of the goddess, of the, the, the high priestess. Okay, um, so a switch in energies. The Three of Pentacles is a firm foundation has been laid. You've you had an idea, you threw that idea, you know, the seeds of intention out into the breeze to be carried away. Okay, so the Three of Pentacles is starting to see the fruits of your labor, starting to see, um, you know, return on your investment or the on the work that you've done. On, You know, you, you went through a dark period of time and you're rebuilding your life. So you're starting to feel strength empowerment the future position is the three cups so this is similar energy to the ace of cups where the ace of cups is more of a, a complete opening where the three cups is an activation for me this is a heart chakra activation okay um this is two people coming together to create a new energy which is love and experiencing that love celebrating that love feeling that love bubbling up exciting you making you happy to be alive so it's a celebration of love is in the future from this dark state to the stability to this inner knowing to this um activation this you know feeling true love moving through you um makes you realize that you're you're connected to something much higher than yourself we are in on this 3d plane in this 3D world to experience love on a physical level. That's why we are here. That is the purpose of a twin flame connection. That is a purpose of integrating yourself is self-love. Love yourself 
first and then love will flow freely into your life unconditionally so I'm definitely feeling um, you know power in terms of psychic ability electrical power and over here I feel um, fiery power so that would be the introvert next to bird again so this card it represents you know being strong-headed being you know unwavering not changing so let me just read that out to you number 15 headstrong okay this is the house of stubbornness and situations where you will find no joy in trying to dissuade somebody to change their mind it is a position of power so it is not being willing to change your perspective so you've found your freedom you have found your inner knowing and once you know your truth there's no going back once you're awake you can't fall back into unconsciousness completely you may stumble in and out you know for a while but once awake always awake unwavering you know your truth that's it I'm not you've already changed your perspective in the past you released yourself from that mental prison and you're not going back fuck that page of Pentacles solar plexus chakra nice ah two of cups all right so you're determined headstrong there's you're setting off on a journey or you're, you're trying to manifest some, uh, something into your reality um, and you're going to put the work into it. You've already put the work into it and you're going to continue to build that Three of Pentacles and make it a Ten of Pentacles in the future like the Feminine. That's your goal, you know, and that's um, what's driving you. So the Page of Pentacles is coming in the past position. So this could either mean communication in the 3D that inspired you to create a new life for yourself uh, page is earth energy so it's 3d energy so it's planning for that long-term goal but it isn't movement it's planning it's gathering information it could represent having to move or um, taking on a new job going to school but you're honing your skills you're gathering information in order to move you forward Okay, so then we got this solar plexus chakra activation, empowerment. You become that bear, bullheaded, off on your journey. There's no stopping me. Movement forward is what I'm feeling. Okay, so the solar plexus chakra is passion, desire, sexuality, creativity. It is empowerment, courage, and strength, very much like this bear. Okay, so you're moving forward with plans that you had started to make in, in the past where you feel grounded and you're pursuing this love okay and so in your future position we got the two of cups spiritual union you will meet um, your soulmate twin flame if you haven't already met them this means a deepening connection of the bond that you are already in so there is a heightened enlightenment um, you know even more so than the magician even more so than the gardener even more so than the third eye chakra because um, the motor that drives the connection is the, the heart chakra when you meet somebody and you fall in love with them and you recognize their soul you recognize um, that they are your mirror it changes your perspective this love opens you to seeing life differently so um, this is you know called the twin flame connection it's meeting your twin flame the your vibrations match exactly so there's no resistance there's no fighting there's just love so the heart chakra is activated which activates higher levels of consciousness the third eye and then the crown chakra so what I'm seeing here is empowerment, 
movement towards love, towards this twin flame, and that's what you manifested in your life. You wanted love. The Ace of Cups. You threw those seeds of intention out to manifest true love into your life, and that is what is coming towards you. A new beginning. And then you will realize how powerful that you are that because you actually made that shit happen. Again, cycles of completion. This is realizing your power of, of um, you know, co-creating your reality. That's what this reading is about. You guys are mirroring each other, but in, um, you know, reversed ways. Like you guys are mirror images of one another. It's really weird what I'm seeing right now. I've never seen this in a reading before, you know, where you want something and that actually manifests strongly as an outcome. You desire this, it happens. Desire this, it happens. The masculine comes or love comes. So what I'm feeling very strongly, like that first card coming together that jumped out of the, uh, call it Baron Reed, actually, I think I'm going to read that um, as the final card, as a unity card, but I, what I'm really feeling is emerging an in integration of the feminine and the masculine. You know, and so what I feel is that it's activated by this solstice energy, this fiery energy. Um, it, it feels the fire to bring the feminine and masculine sides, aspects of yourself as well as, you know, someone who's in a, a twin flame connection together. So there's a unity in the 5D and the 3D as well for some, not all. All right, so where are we? So the strength card. Again, empowerment. Strength is an internal strength, okay? The chariot is exerting your strength on the external world where the strength card is taming the beast within. So again, there's that inward movement, feminine outward. So... Let me read that for you. Oh, where's the book? Courage. Okay. This card shows a small wild flower that has met the challenge of the rocks and the stones in its path to emerge into the light of the day, surrounded by an aura of bright golden light. It exposes the majesty of its tiny self, unashamed. It is equal to the brightest sun. When we are faced with a, a very difficult situation, we have a choice. We can either be resentful and try to find somebody or something to blame for the hardships, or we can face the challenge and grow. The flower shows us the way as it is its passion for life leads us out of the darkness into the light. There is no point fighting against the challenge of life or trying to avoid or deny them. They are there and if, they, if the seed is to become a flower, we must go through them. Be courageous enough to grow into a flower you are meant to be. Wow! There we have those seeds being thrown out into the wind and this, the seed lands and grows wherever it desires. It's not afraid to grow on this wall. It doesn't know it's a wall, right? It's not afraid of the wall. It doesn't, you know, worry about the future. How am I going to grow there? No, it just lands. It grows and it doesn't care. It's reaching for the sun. Again, similar energy, reaching for the sun, coming out. Um, solar plexus chakra, again, sun, fire, empowerment. Okay, three cards, five of swords, justice. Oh, are you kidding me? The high priest. Wow. Okay, so the Five of Swords is coming in the past position. So this would be coming from the Eight of Swords. All right, you can't do that. You're not good enough. 
What are you talking about? And you know, it's conflict, defeat, it's engaging in an argument, negative thoughts, negative behavior. So it's in the past position. So it's a lingering energy that's being brought in. So there's doubt that if I embark on this soul soul journey or soul connection or unity or if I give up something I don't know um, that I won't succeed but you will okay and especially with the justice card so justice will be served so if some of you are going through a legal battle um, or you know divorce or some changes need to occur in your environment in order to allow freedom into your life um, it will work out in your favor okay because you made a decision to embark on this spiritual journey embark on this love connection um, you know to be that um, you know to be on the earth is to love and that's what you desire love and that's what you're moving forward to so you are not letting negative energy hold you back and spirit is saying if you do that karma will come back to you in a good way <clears throat> any judgments will be made in your favor justice will be served okay future position for you masculine is the high priest this is um, you being represented in the 5d as the spiritual leader attaining wisdom knowledge um, strength um, love you know you, you found your light within and you're shining it brightly for all to see so this is the divine masculine really finding his power empowerment again and it has to do with you know um, going on your spiritual path moving away from negative so the <clears throat> the um, the high priest has a crown chakra activation that's the last card the third eye chakra activation is happening now and it will be because of this spiritual union this connection that comes in your near future that truly empowers you it wakes you up makes you realize you are the high priest and for some it's movement towards a feminine gestures of love making a reality in the 3d now i would have liked to have seen the divine feminine in this reading however um she is home okay um she's providing this loving environment and safety and security for the masculine to transform possibly during this time or for her to move from this masculine energy into or sorry feminine energy into masculine energy so what I see here is both sides being empowered by the Sun masculine energy oh my god okay so I can't read these cards any other way than how they have been presented to me illumination the power of the Sun Namaste. Oh my God. All right. So, um, should I tr try to look for that coming together card? Yeah. Let me just pause it real quick. Okay. So I found it and let's read the, um, messages from the universe first, and then I'll read this as a final message. So I'm not sure if it's meaning in reverse. Okay, so this is for feminine, uh, a certain slant of light, very nice, so that's illumination, masculine, uh, triumph of the Galata, uh, Galatea. So I'll read the feminine first. Okay, certain slant of light. From the darkness there emerges illumination deemed divine, factless searching terminated by insight most sublime. From despair and confusion erupts another form of sight, lucidity, 
all resi resulting from a certain slant of light. Oh my god. Seriously. It's exactly what I was saying. A change in perspective, a realization, an unattached, like a detachment. Empowerment. A pensive mermaid lies in a grassy pond, waiting for an answer to come to her. A grand light shines from above, illuminating her and surrounding um, sorry, and her surroundings in a moment of divine insight and understanding. The meaning, illumination is coming. Darkness and confusion are commonplace in the world, but do not worry. Illumination is coming in the form of a new way of viewing your environment or situation. Some call it divine insight, others enlightenment. Either way, be prepared for a new perspective. A sudden shift in thinking will rise from the uncovering of unknown facts, opinions, or desires. These new points will help you understand where you are now and help you to answer some questions that have been gnawing at you for some time. Be prepared, though. The illumination may be subtle and easy to miss. Keep your eyes open and your spirit curious so that you do not miss out on the illumination you have been so long waiting for. All right, so... Summer solstice, pay attention because it is illumination that will free your mind. Triumph at the Galatee. A mythic beauty takes a ride across the ocean, she doth glide. Friends and lovers by her side. While I, while I sit and coldly gaze in envy at her carefree ways and make designs to spoil her days. A sea nymph and her admirers enjoy a magnificent chariot ride pulled by a pair of feisty dolphin fish. This miniature scene is set against the backdrop of a lovely lady portrait which suggests they are being watched. So the meaning, you are being watched. Lately, you have been having fun at the expense of getting the job done, and so far there have been no serious repercussions. But be warned, someone has been keeping an eye on you, and you will not get away with this kind of behavior forever. Perhaps a jealous or... Uh, sorry. Perhaps she is jealous of your carefree ways or simply irritated at your lack of responsibility. In any case... It is time to straighten up and do what you're supposed to do before you get called out. Okay, so, you know, that would um, kind of go along with the Five of Swords up here. It's that pointing finger. You're doing this. You didn't do that. You know, and it was engaging you in the past. Um, so I think this is just spirit, you know, asking you to get on that chariot and, um, you know, manifest what you want step into that power take control of the reins direct your energy you know don't let anything hold you back but you know the strength card also represents using love kindness and compassion and taming the beast within in order to deal with the situation so deal with that you know if it's a negative energy in your environment that's sucking you um you know draining your energy then use love and kindness and compassion to deal with it and that you know justice will um be served so there is a release here that i see on the masculine side and it requires you to go within listen to your heart listen to your intuition listen to you know um calm the male masculine aspect of yourself Again, you know, the, uh, the high priest is empowerment of the masculine, but it is an intuitive empowerment. Crown chakra activation. It's going within. Okay, and the feminine are being illuminated, um, coming into power. All right, so I'm going to read that last card coming together in reverse. So number eight. All right, so come together. Love needs to be shared, but in reverse it says, 
When the come together card appears, reverse, it is a sign that perhaps a love connection is unbalanced. Is intimacy being withheld from you? Are you withholding it from another? Longing and yearning are often mistaken for love, when in fact they are signs of lack. Perhaps you've been doing all the emotional work and pouring your water into an empty well, to the point that now you're all, you are also depleted. Know this, true love will not be denied you. What is truly for you will never walk past you or require this much energy. Drop the agendas, the fight, the need to, <clears throat> sorry, the need to win and allow love to flow through you. True love will always find its reflection in another. Oh, that's awesome. So change in perspective. Allow that love to come in, masculine and feminine. Let go of your need to control. <laughs> that's what I kind of felt with that. Um, Or, you know, just that the, this energy is in balance, you know, if you're, you're in contact with your Divine Masculine, maybe the Feminine is putting a lot of energy into something and she's not receiving anything in return or not as much. So Spirit is saying to, to not take them for granted, to express yourself, um, because the feminine is, you know, this home energy. Anyway, um, yeah, so let me know if it resonates. Um, I really appreciate your comments and your feedback. Um, and just another reminder that I'm going to be going away um, half of July, uh, actually three quarters of July, really, for my son's wedding. So I'm not going to be doing any readings during that time. Um, so if you want to order a reading with me, now would be a perfect time for you to book. Okay, so I love you guys. Cheers.